This week, mourners remembering the lives lost in last week's mass murder in Henrietta. This is a tragedy that has had a huge impact on Oklahomans. It's been shared across the country as well. Chaos Hills, Megan Mosley, back there in Henrietta today. She joins us live. And Megan, I know you met some people out there who drove from all over the state just to see what they could do to help. Guys, a mother I met out here today tells me that she has been just devastated to learn about this case. She tells me she's been riding lawmakers and really doing everything she can to make sure the six innocent lives are being remembered. We're so close, like I couldn't not, I just couldn't stay away. When something like this happens basically in your backyard, it's concerning. I mean, how many others are out there that we don't know about? It's been over a week since six lives were taken in Henrietta. It's a lot to wrap your mind around. A sleepover turned into a mass murder where five children were shot to death. I think about her going to spend the night with a friend and, you know, you, you worry about your kids meeting the wrong kids, the wrong crowd, getting involved with the wrong kids. But you really got to worry about the parents too. Jesse McFadden, the man behind the gun, was a registered sex offender. Among the victims, his three stepchildren. You never think to ask your friend's parents, oh, is your spouse a SO? You don't think of that. Who would? It's just, it's a lot. You never expect something like this to come out of a sleepover. Not once in my life have I ever, ever thought something would happen like this. Like after hearing the devastation, Christy has been doing what she can to spread the word and be a helping hand for the families. We got bouquets and stuffed animals to leave at the memorial for the girls, but we're also buying rose bushes because um, Brittany's dad said that she loved pink and turquoise and roses. And I thought if we get them rose bushes, they can plant that and every year they'll come back and be a reminder of their daughters. Now, Ivy Webster had her funeral over this past weekend. Brittany B Brewer's uh, funeral will be held tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Henrietta High School gym. That's at 10 a.m. And according to a family member, Holly and her three children's funerals have not yet been planned. Reporting live in Henrietta, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.